Hi everyone, this is Bharti and welcome to Get Set Yoga Season 2. We are almost towards the end of the 8-week challenge, so I really hope you have been enjoying the sessions so far. Today we'll be doing a practice to build focus and stability. So once you are ready, let's hop onto the mat and get going. Let us start by coming into an easy cross-legged sitting position. Ground your sit bones into the mat, straighten the spine, roll the shoulders back. Bring the hands and chin mudra on the knees and gently close your eyes. And let's start taking a few deep breaths. Take a deep breath in. Feeling your belly expand out and a long exhale out, feeling the belly soften and go in. Again, inhale deeply, expanding the belly out like a big balloon. Exhale slowly, the belly softens and goes in. Keep going on, keeping your focus on your breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Last time, take a deep breath in. And a long exhale out. Bring your hands to heart center. And we'll start the practice with an Om chant. Take a deep breath in. slowly open your eyes from here take your hands up over your head and just stretch up getting a nice stretch on either sides of the body and relax interlace the fingers and again inhale stretch up and relax let's go side to side so again inhale stretch to the right side keeping the chest open looking up towards the ceiling and center and go towards the left and center again inhale elongate the spine exhale twist to the left come back to center inhale exhale twist to the right Come back to center from here keeping your hands up just bring both the feet onto the mat and then just engaging your core try to stand up without bringing the arms down so let's try and come up it's fine if you need to take your hands down but just try without it once now let's do a back bend and a forward fold so again bring the hands in front interlace the fingers inhale extend the arms up exhale fold forward bringing the hands to the mat let's breathe into the stretch in the back of the legs again inhale extend up and stretch back opening the chest to the ceiling Exhale, fold forward. Once more. Inhale, extend up, stretching back. 
exhale fold forward and come back up and release the hands now we'll go side to side again take both the hands up interlacing the fingers inhale bend to the right exhale center inhale bend to the left exhale center two more times right and center left center left center and release the hands now let's start taking the arms in backward direction going for five four three two and one and let's reverse five four three two and one bring your arms to your hips and let's just start taking the hips in clockwise direction for five four three two and one and reverse five four three two and one and relax bring both the feet together bring the hands onto your thighs and come into a mini squat and let's just start circling the knees in clockwise direction for five four three two one and reverse four three two one and relax bring both the feet slightly more than hip distance apart inhale take both the arms up as you exhale start pushing the hips down and come all the way down into malasana we are going to do this dynamically a few times so inhale come up exhale down to malasana inhale up exhale down keep the spine long inhale up exhale down two more times last time inhale up exhale down and bring the hands to the yoga mat now staying in malasana take a deep breath in and as you exhale push the hips up to come into a forward fold or padhastasana again inhale bring the hips down straightening the spine exhale fold forward inhale down exhale up two more times inhale down exhale up last round inhale down exhale up and come down and relax in malasana bringing the hands to heart center taking a few deep breaths you should be feeling quite warmed up by now i certainly am now bring both the hands down onto the mat and just walk the hands forward getting a nice stretch in your lower back keep pushing the knees away get an opening in the hips stay for 3 2 and 1 and push the legs up and roll up to come into a standing position so let's come to the top of the mat bring the legs together spread the toes wide distributing the weight evenly on all the four corners of the feet engage the legs pull the navel in lengthen the spine roll the shoulders back bring the hands to heart center and let's take a breath in and out here as you inhale extend both the arms up and stretch back 
Exhale, start folding forward, keeping the spine long, coming all the way down. Step the right foot back, bringing the right knee onto the mat, pointing the right toes back to come into Ashwasanjalanasana. Here, try to push your hips down, getting a nice stretch in the right hip flexor. Place both the palms on the mat, step the left foot back to high plank. Exhale, drop the knees, chest and chin down to come into Ashtang Namaskar. Inhale, slide forward to Bhujangasana. Keep the shoulders rolled back and the elbows tucked in. Tuck the toes in. Exhale, come to Downward Facing Dog. Let's take three deep breaths in Downward Dog. Keep pushing the chest close to the thighs. And one, step the right foot forward, bringing the left knee onto the mat. Step the left foot forward to Padhastasana. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, inhale up, stretching up and back. Exhale forward. Step the left foot back, bringing the left knee onto the mat. Step the right foot back to come to high plank. Exhale, drop knees, chest and chin. Inhale, slide forward to cobra. Exhale, come to downward facing dog. Let's take three deep breaths here. Step the left foot forward, bring the right knee onto the mat, looking forward. Step the right foot forward to Padhastasana. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll do this once more and add some variations in the middle. So again, inhale, extend up. Exhale, fold forward, keeping the spine long. Inhale, right leg back. Step the left foot back. Exhale, Ashtanga. Inhale, Bhujanga. Exhale, Adhomukha. Step the right foot forward. And then as you inhale, extend both the arms up to come into high lunge. From here, bring both the hands to heart center and start shifting your weight to the right leg. Now focusing on a point on the floor, start raising the left foot up to come to warrior three. Try to keep your hips squared towards the floor and let's stay here for three. Keep pushing the heel back, two, keep the core engaged and one. Slowly bring the left leg in and come into a standing position. Very good. So we'll repeat this on the other side. Take a breath in and out to prepare. Inhale, extend the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, left leg back. Step the right foot back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, Bhujanga. Exhale, Adhomukha. Step the left foot forward between both the hands. Inhale, extend both the arms up to come into high lunge. Bring both the hands to heart center. Start shifting the weight forward to the left leg and then finding your focus. Start raising the right foot for back to come to warrior three and stay for three. Two and one, slowly bring the right leg forward and bring it down. Very good, bring both the hands on either sides and let's come to the center of the mat and take a few deep breaths.
and relax. From here, we'll do a couple of more balancing asanas. So bring both the legs together, shift the weight to the left leg and we are going to come into Vrikshasana of the tree pose now. So raise the right knee, grab the right ankle and bring it on the inside of the left thigh. Try to keep the right knee out in line with the hips. And once you find your focus, bring both the hands to heart center. Now you can stay here or you can take both the arms up to come into Vrikshasana. Or if you want to take it up a notch, you can bring the right hand onto the right knee and get into a side stretch, focusing on a point on the floor and stay for three, two, one. Come back to center, bring the hands down, take the right leg down and relax. We'll repeat it on the other side. Shift the weight to the right leg. Focus on a point in front. Bring the left leg up on the inside of the right thigh and find your variation. And we'll stay for three, two, and one, come back to center, bring the hands down and bring the left leg down. Very good. Now we'll get into Nataraj Asana. So again, bend the left knee and bring the left foot back, grabbing the left foot from the outside with the left hand. Focus on a point in front and then start raising the left knee up kicking the left foot back to come into Nataraj Asana. Keep pushing the left thigh up and let's stay here for three, two and one. Slowly bring the knee down and bring the left foot down and relax. Shake out the legs before we repeat this on the other side. Shift the weight to the left leg. Take the right foot back, grab it with the right hand. Inhale, and as you exhale, find your focus and start raising the right knee back to come into Nataraj Asana, the dancer's pose. For three, two, and one. Slowly come back in, bring the right leg down and relax. From here, we'll get into variation of the chair pose. So as you inhale, extend both the arms up, start pushing the hips back and at the same time, raise your heels to come into chair pose. And we'll stay here for three, keep raising the heels, two, keep pushing the hips back and one. From here, keep going all the way down and then come into a full squat, bringing your hands in front to balance. And if you can, try to bring the heels onto the mat as well. You can have a bit of gap between both the legs to balance. And then just hug both the knees close to the chest. And let's stay here for three, two, and one. Now bring both the hands in front and we'll try to go into Bhakasana. So spread the fingers wide and distribute your weight evenly on all the four corners of the palms, pressing all the 10 fingers into the mat. We are going to raise the hips up and bring the knees close to the triceps, as close to the underarm as possible. Then focusing on a point on the mat, you can raise one foot up, stay here, come back, raise the other foot and come back and keep doing this. Or if you're comfortable, we'll try to go into the full bakasana. So find your focus on a point about one foot away from the hands. 
इनहेल एक्सहेल पुश द हिप्स अप टेक योर वेरिएशन एंड कम इन टू बकासना Slowly come down and push the hips back to come onto the mat. So that was our balancing asana practice. From here we'll get into navasana. So take your torso slightly back and then raise both the legs up. And if you're comfortable, take both the hands on either sides of the legs and let's stay here for five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring the legs down. Open up the knees to the side to come into Baddha Konasana. We are going to get into a twist from here. So inhale, extend both the arms up. Exhale, open towards the left side, looking back towards the left thumb. Inhale, center. Exhale, open to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Last time. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up, and from here, just take both the arms forward and come into a forward fold. And let's stay for three, two, and one. Walk the hands back, and then slowly recline back to come into Supta Bhadra Konasana. Bring both the knees in close to the chest, and then extend the left leg out. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring the right knee on the outside of the left hip, and twist to the right, looking towards the right hand, and stay for five deep breaths. And come back to center. Bring the left knee in, take it towards the right side, and twist to the left, and stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. Let both the legs fall out. Opening the palms up to the ceiling, and let's take a few deep breaths here in Shavasana. Take a deep breath in, and a long exhale out, releasing all tension from the body. Bring your attention to your toes. Relax all the ten toes of the feet. Relax the front part of the feet. Relax the ankles and the heels. Bring your attention to your calf muscles. Soften the calf muscles, releasing any tightness there. Soften the knees, the thighs, and the hips. Relax the entire lower body. Bring your attention to your back, releasing all tension. From the entire back, bring your attention to your fingers. Relax the fingers. 
the palms, the wrist and the forearms. Relax the elbows and the upper arms. Soften your shoulders and the neck. Soften your jaws, the lips and the cheeks. Relax your eyes and the space between the eyebrows. Relax the top of the head. Observe your body from the top of the head to the tips of the toes completely relaxed and heavy as it melts into the mat. Bring your attention to your breath, observing your belly rise up with every inhalation and falling down with every exhalation. Stay with your breath. Now slowly start wriggling your toes and fingers. Bring your attention back to your body. And when you are ready, slowly turn to one side. And then gently get up to come into a sitting position. We'll finish the practice with three home chants. Take a deep breath in. Slowly bring the hands to heart center and let's start rubbing the palms to create heat in the palms. Gently bring the palms over your eyelids and feel the healing heat of the palms through the eyelids. Slowly bring the hands down and open your eyes. Hope you enjoyed today's practice. I'll see you in the next session. Till then, take care and bye-bye.